And more controversy have continued to trail the just-concluded Edo All Progressive Congress, the APC, governorship primaries following the emergence of two candidates from different factions. More tweaks to this is the claim by the member representing Esako Federal Constituency and the House of Representatives, Honorable Anamero Dekeri, who was an aspirant in the just-concluded primary election. Addressing journalists in Benin City, the Edo State Capital, Dekari declared that he is the rightful winner of the contest, having pulled the highest number of votes. Recall that the governorship primary election of the All Progressive Congress, APC, was marred with crisis as a result, were announced in two different locations by different returning officers of the party in Benin City. On February 17, 2024, members of the All Progressive Congress, APC in Edo State, came out to vote for a candidate of their choice to fly the party's flag in the forthcoming gubernatorial election for Edo State. In their wisdom, they elected me, Honorable Anameru Sode Dekeri, as their preferred candidate, and in all humility and with the great sense of responsibility, I accept this choice, which I believe is a reflection of God's choice. I must also thank critical stakeholders, especially the state and the National Working, National Working Committee, for insisting on a total adherence to electoral guidelines as stipulated in the timetable. Let me also appreciate the electoral umpire, the Independent National, Ele National Electoral Commission, INEC, for ensuring transparent, transparency in the conduct of the election. At this point, I must acknowledge my co-contestants and great party members who put up a commendable challenge during the contest. Your participation, I must say, helped the democracy in our party. Therefore, I invite you to join hands with me and let us march together shoulder to shoulder with great strength and commitment and remove the temporary occupant at Osadebe Avenue, the PDP, come September 2024. My dear party members, I congratulate you today on the mandate you have given to me to fly our party flag. I wish to assure you that in the next few days, I shall be unveiling my electoral manifesto, Christy Virtual of Hope Agenda. I therefore call on my party, call on our party members and the do state in general to give their lawyers and join our campaign effort to form the next government in the state, a government that will care for you and your children and alleviate your sufferings.